Hi friends, in this tutorial I am showing how to take a cable tray quantities uh, from rivet. So we will have uh, two levels of uh, drawing floor, floor plan. So go to here in the system tab and you can uh, select the cable tray from here. You can get the cable tray size whichever you need. You will be get from here and the middle elevations you also you will be get. And I am just uh, selected the cable tray from the system tab. Then go to the edit type. First, you just need to duplicate the cable tray name. Like we can say like uh, CT01. Click OK. And just, uh, okay, this is C CT01. So just select that one. So that will come up over here. So just need to do one thing over here. Just the same name we just need to give here. CT01. Then just draw the cable tray. Just select that one. So now it is CT01. So just uh, select it like that and just run the cable tray wherever you need. You just run it like that. Once you run, uh, you, you can check the 3D view how it looks. So you can get the 3D view from here. It was uh, going through the uh, above ceiling. So you need to check that one. It was going perfectly through the uh, level, uh, which level it was going. You need to check with the levels. So it was running through like this. So once it's once it's done, just go to here. We need to uh, develop another cable tray. Like uh, you can uh, say, like you can select the cable tray and just duplicate this one. And I am saying like uh, this is CT02. CT02. You can give your uh, different names. So that uh, that will depends upon your projects and your naming culture. And I am changing this one like a uh, 600. And I need to run this cable tray. Uh, from here uh, like 600 mm cable tray and just uh, run through up to the here up to this area so just for the <coughs> quantity purpose I am just giving these things and uh, you need to just to make another cable tray so if you can go to the 3d view it was look like this so go here and you can see the cable tray is running like that and if you are if you want to change this uh, hidden line so you can see the cable trays and if you want uh, some other views so that will uh, show up over here so i'm just keeping like a, a shaded view and uh, what we can do we just need to uh, we just need to take a schedule and quantities okay so this level is here and i need to make another cable tray like i'm duplicating this one uh, like a ct03 just duplicating that one ct03 and uh, just this one also i need to change that one is ct02 and i um, just uh, need to change the cable tray size from here 900 so it was uh, come up over like this so you can draw easily like that cable trace so three cable trays i created so this one is ct02 just select this one and say change the service type from here 02 okay if you want to select this one just select it and tab and it's a select that will select all the all the areas so that was creating okay so then then go to the second level so here also we need to create some cable tray so first i am creating ct01 and uh, just drawing like this so wherever you need you can draw it the cable tray and another cable tray like uh, i am placing on level to 450 and uh, that was come up on ct02 and here also we need we can give the ct02 just select that that and just uh, draw like this and this one is ct01 i am just giving so just uh, giving the service types also ct01 so you can easily identify once you making uh, um, schedule and quantities for these names okay so then go to another one another one i am just uh, choosing um 750 and this is just giving the name like uh, ct03 and here also i am changing to ct03 so you can identify the cable trace whichever you use it okay so this was created so once you go to here now we will have, we'll have like uh, ct01 and ct02 and ct03 so once you go here once you done the cable trace for each levels like uh, level one or multiple levels, so you can get the you can get the schedules from here. For that, you just need to click on the schedule and quantity. Right click that one. So just uh, you select the whichever things you need. For example, I need the cable tray first. Select that one, and we just need to add the things uh, from here. 
for example i am just uh, giving like a family uh, family and just giving a height and then length and uh, levels sorry a level i don't want like uh, i need reference level only so i just need to give a reference level and service type and size and uh, just uh, need to give a width of the cable tray and once you need to uh, set up these things uh, so you can adjust the things like if you need uh, even count also we can add it okay so if you need to move it down you can move it these things down so for example i am just uh, moving length is totally down so you can adjust that one and if I, even you can click uh, okay then the the schedule will be created over here so you just need to get the cable tray and fittings and you will be get the service types and uh, if you want to edit this one go here and if you want to uh, no need this one so just uh, remove that one and you can add the family and type so that will come up over here so which are the family types you use it so that will come up over here so if you need the total of this uh, cable tray length you can go to the formatting and group uh, formatting and just uh, uh, just need to first go here and just uh, select this one grand uh, grand total and uh, uh, then go to the formatting and just uh, uh, select the length total length and uh, just give give the calculate total just click ok so you will be get like a total uh, length of this one and if you need the uh, some sorting for this filter so just need to give the length equal uh, length uh, you just you need to give run and none and just give the uh, length of this one and just give a add a footer over here and just give a select the length and click ok so you will be get a total uh, length of the uh, cable trays and everything so if you go to here sorting and group you just need to uh, uncheck that one so you can see here all the cable trays uh, come up over here so you can if you got something like here so you can uh, because we, we didn't uh, uh, given uh, this one so that is what it was coming like that so the, the total length also you will be get it from here so if you if you go to if you if you need to extract that one and uh, you can extract these things and uh, uh, you can add some parameters also if you need so go here and sorting so you just select the grand total and you will be get like uh, uh, whichever things you need so for example i need like a service type equal to ct01 and sorting and group uh, just click ok so you will be get like uh, only the service type which we are using so you will you will be get like uh, like that uh, total quantities so i need some other uh, su service type if, if you need to add that one so you can add that one zero to just click ok i'm sorry i uh, just need to um, uncheck this one and just give to zero two and uh, this one uh, we can give it as a none so that will uh, come up over here so uh, this is the way we are taking uh, some uh, schedule and quantities i will make another video for uh, more details about that thanks for watching thank you